Welcome to Foundations of Language, Lesson 2, Reading Science. In this video, we will focus in on the simple view of reading. The simple view of reading was developed by Guff and Tunmer in 1986. Goff and Tunmer proposed the simple view of reading to clarify the role of decoding in reading. Many educators believe that strong decoding skills are not necessary to achieve reading comprehension. Beginning and struggling readers are often taught to compensate for weak decoding by guessing an unfamiliar word based on the first letter or the picture, then asking themselves if the word makes sense after reading the sentence. This belief system and the practices associated with it have been removed from the previous version of the language curriculum in favor of explicit and systematic evidence-based instruction in foundational reading and decoding skills in the new Ontario Language Curriculum 2023. Tunmer and Goff's model depicts reading as a product of word recognition multiplied by language comprehension. This mathematical representation allows us to really break down some of the profiles of struggling readers. For the following demonstration, we will assume a value of zero to represent a struggle with knowledge and skills, and a value of one to represent proficiency with knowledge and skills. Let's begin. If a child struggles with word recognition, represented by the zero, but has strong language comprehension, represented by the one, then the product of zero times one is zero, which means poor reading comprehension. This is the most common profile of a struggling reader and is in fact the profile that represents most of our dyslexic students. Similarly, if a child has strong word recognition but struggles with language comprehension, the product is again zero, meaning poor reading comprehension. In some cases, we may encounter a child who has difficulty with both decoding and language comprehension, which undoubtedly is a profile of a struggling reader. What is super important to note in this situation is that many of our older struggling readers may not have started out with a profile of struggling with both language comprehension and decoding. When you think about the years of reading that these students have missed out on because they struggled with just decoding, you can begin to see the years of knowledge building, vocabulary building, exposure to complex syntax and structure of written language that these students have missed out on. It is for this reason that it is critical to ensure early decoding instruction to mastery for as many students as possible. And for those students who continue to struggle, we must provide them with the accommodations such as speech to text and text to speech technologies, audiobook formats, and content presented in videos and alternate media formats that they will need to access grade level and age appropriate texts on a daily basis so that their language comprehension does not fall behind that of their peers. Finally, we have the profile of a student who has strong word recognition as well as strong language comprehension, which results in strong reading comprehension. As mentioned, these top three equations all represent profiles of struggling readers. Through this model, it is very evident that how we must intervene for each of the different profiles will be with a different focus in instruction. As stated earlier, the most common profile for students with dyslexia is the first one, whereby the struggle is one of word recognition. Thank you for joining me for this short video on the simple view of reading.